Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna be sharing what products I've been obsessed with for the entire month. These are products that I've been using non-stop, so I thought I would share them with you as I always do every month. I am kind of like mid-November right now, but it kind of works out because I don't think I'm gonna be doing a December favorites this year, and I'll just do a yearly favorites at the end just because I've been using a lot of the same stuff. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is kind of like a little combo that I I've been like just obsessed with. I feel like I just said obsessed like 500 times, but it's the Makeup Forever Completely Sepia Lip Pencil with the Dose of Colors Truffle Liquid Lipstick. These basically are the exact same shade and it's kind of just like a darker nude for me. What I have on now isn't this. This is a little bit more peachy, but it's kind of like the same deepness as what I have on my lips right now. It's just more nude. I think I used it in my last makeup tutorial. If not that, then it was the one before. Yeah, I think I used this in my Thanksgiving tutorial, but I just love this. This is just a really good nude for me. It's kind of like a deeper nude, which I'm more drawn to those like lighter, more pale nudes or just pretty much just a blanked out nude. But this on my skin tone is a little bit deeper. I've just been wearing it all month long ever since I got it and I'll even sometimes just wear the lip liner by itself or sometimes just the liquid lipstick by itself. This formula is really comfortable and it doesn't feel super super dry on your lips so I just love these and I've been wearing them constantly. Next is this highlighter from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. It's the one that they collaborated on with Nikki Tutorials. Uh, the only thing that sucks about this is it takes a long time to open or maybe I just have issues But it's kind of like this light pearly highlighter, which if you're more fair like me This is like a dream It just looks like just like an icy pearl on the cheek And even if you're more tan you could probably try this especially around this time of year when you kind of want to do like more of like a silvery Vibe, you know, but it's just beautiful. I love it. The master chrome highlighter is just one of my favorite formulas. They also have one called Molten Gold. Woo! I actually have these two mixed together on my face right now and it's just gorgeous. So if you do have a more tan, deeper complexion, do the Molten Gold. But if you wanna try something more pearly, more icy and white, do this one. It's gorgeous and it looks a lot like that MAC one I've been using recently. Next, I wanna talk about this glitter glue. It is amazing. This is the best glitter glue I have ever tried. This is the Anastasia Glitter Adhesive. So. When you use this, you wanna use a teeny tiny amount. You don't wanna bulk it on your eyelids at all. Um, and it smells so good. Oh, I wish they made this into a perfume fragrance. Um, and I'm usually really picky about this kind of stuff, especially around my eyes. I figure like something like that would hurt my eyes or burn or whatever, but it doesn't do that at all, which is very surprising. Um, but it pretty much is like the stickiest and like everything just kind of like sticks right onto it. However, it dries down. What I'll do is I'll put it on my hand and then pick it up with a brush and put it on my eye. And then what's left on my on my hand just dries down. It doesn't stay like continually, there is just a bug. It doesn't stay continually sticky, which is weird. I don't know how they did that, but I'm obsessed with this. All of you guys need to go and try this. It's the bomb.com. Speaking of glitters, I've been loving the Makeup Forever Starlit glitter powders. They have, I think like two different kinds because they have the starlit powders and they're more of like a foiled shadow pigment. And these are more like glittery glitters, but like more fine. They're so gorgeous, I love them. This one here is 109. I had this on in a video recently. And then I think it was, maybe not even a video, maybe it was a, vlog or something and then this one I have here is 102 it's just a gold but they're all gorgeous I love them I love that they're very fine but still really sparkly and not too chunky they're just gorgeous this is not a new product this is something that I you guys know that I love but I haven't talked about it in a while because I've been doing more of a full coverage and recently when I was out of town this is like all I wore it's the it cosmetics anti-aging armor I'm obsessed with this. It basically is an SPF just with a tint. So it just kind of like looks like your skin, but better. It doesn't give you any crazy coverage. And you can just put it on with your fingers. I used it today before I put on my foundation um, just because it has that SPF 50. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. The downside is it only comes in one shade. So you pretty much can only use it unless you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker than me. They need to come out with multiple shades. I have heard that some people that have a deeper complexion have tried this and liked it and it worked, 
but I have heard the opposite as well. So, but the way that this works is awesome and I've been using it constantly. This is super random, but I'm so glad I got this. This is a cuticle oil. So it comes like this in a roller ball. And when I got my nails done recently, I learned so much about my nails and kind of like what is good for your nails and what helps and stuff like that. And they, she said like the number one thing is like hydration. So even though you could be drinking a ton of water, if you're not actually hydrating your cuticles, it'll actually make it so that your nails don't grow, which I thought was so interesting. So I got the cuticle oil. You could just keep that in your purse, roll it on and just do it every day to hydrate your cuticles. So then your nails will not be like suffocated and they can grow and stuff. So I just thought that was so cool, so interesting. Um, I have like a behind the scenes look at what I learned and what I got done at the Nordstrom Beauty Haven. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it up here. It's part of my Vlogmas, but yeah, I just, I love that. It's so hydrating and I can't wait to see like if my nails really do start growing more just from hydrating them more. And then lastly, this is something I've talked about before again, um, but ever since it got cold out again, I've been wearing these like crazy and I'm gonna have to get a new pair just because I wear them everywhere. These are my Ugg slippers and they're so dirty, I know, but like I wear these everywhere. I wear them inside the house. I wear them to the grocery store. I probably shouldn't wear them to the grocery store. I probably like ratchet, but I don't even care. They're so warm. They're so comfortable. I love them. I just, I'm obsessed. So I need to get more colors or I just need to get a new pair for this year because these are really starting to look dingy. But yeah, I thought I would just throw them in here again just because I've been wearing them constantly and that's just like, been my go-to outfit. But that is everything for this month's favorites. I know there wasn't a ton. There hasn't been a lot of favorites recently just because I've been using a lot of the same products. I feel like I've been buying new stuff, but I just still keep going back to like my go-to favorite products. So leave your favorites down below in the comment section so I can check those products out. Please subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next video. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.